come by, you're good. Oh yeah. Huh. I'm gonna have to pick my lines a little carefully. Definitely don't want to get stuck doing something stupid. I'm okay with getting stuck doing something cool.
I've got the other Maverick car I'm matching with my yellow. cars at the mountain lake and it's mountain weather <laughs>
almost there. Suckers are just kind of sticking them up, but I got down to the ice. It wasn't really a matter. Are we going to be able to make it much no, further? No, I don't think so. Right. Is that a wall of snow in front of us? Yeah. That's a big wall of snow. Oh, it turns. Whoa, thing, look at that. Good thing I got my Hey Dude slippers <laughs> on. He's camping too. He ain't prepared for this. Uh, it was nice and like 80 degrees out driving up here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. If somebody a little better tires want to lead, you want, I'll keep leading, but I wish I could just pull myself out. I just wonder how much further we're going to go to make it up here. We're not really. It's probably best to just turn around. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of high up here. There's one big drift at the Y up there I was talking about that uh, oh. would be our less fighting. These are looking doable for sure. Yeah. Because you're only two tires on. Right. Whoa, Razor. Well, let's see if I can get this thing pulled out. I'll... Gotta get a winch. Uh, Darren got me pulled out. Thanks, Darren, for yanking me back. Um, I would have went forward and then probably continued through some of those other spots, but the weather turned on us. It's all rainy. It's not really fun winching in the rain and the snow. And like Bentley was saying, he doesn't have the right shoes on. I don't really have the right shoes on for snow. Luckily these barefoot shoes do have kind of a tight sock at the top so they don't introduce snow down into your shoes, but they're still going to get wet and not be suitable for too long in this type of weather. So, yeah, let's go down this just for the fun of it. Guys, I'm gonna interrupt today's video for the sponsor, Ben Larry Mears. I've got a customer in here. We're doing an uh, oil change on his X3. I'm actually done with it. And he's driving through traffic and he needs some mirrors just for a safety issue like most X3s. You got that mirror there? It's not enough. Let's see what Ben Larry can do for us. That fits in nicely through the factory holes. No drilling. No clamping onto the round cage with clamps that don't fit. Let's see if we like it. We get adjusted. There's adjustment here. There's adjustment here. There. I'm gonna tighten this one up. Make sure it's good and tight. Come loose and rattle around. Okay. Let's 
Okay, see if you can adjust it now. Let's dial in and you can see out the rear view mirror. Thanks, Ben Larry. Um, yeah, I like that how it's just because it's not clamped on down here, it just bolts through the factory holes. Alright, let's get the other side on. 